I want to talk to you today about a device inside many modern computers called an SSD. You may have heard this term before. It stands for solid state drive. Let's dive into what it means. SSDs or solid state drives are best understood by comparing them to the predecessor and knowing what type of device they are. So first, what type of device is it? Well, it's a storage device. Computers have as their basic purpose, taking in information, working with that information in some way and sending out information. That information is in the form of electronic data, which sounds all fancy, but frankly, it's just a big collection of ones and zeros. More on that at some other time. Now, because computers take in this data, work with it, and then send it on to other devices like other computers or a display, they need a place to store this data permanently. In other words, a place where you can turn off the computer, remove all electricity from it, but that data will remain. And then when you turn the computer on again, the computer will have access to it. It's permanent. These devices are called memory storage devices. And a drive is an example of one. So onto SSDs. Well, I mentioned they are best understood when looking at the immediately prior technology that they improved upon. That's called a hard disk drive. Let me show you one. This is a hard disk drive. I don't know, it's about four and a half inches by six inches, roughly, less than an inch thick. Sits inside most modern computers. And if you look at the back, you'll see there's a round part here. Inside that area is a round disk. It's made of a metal. It's a hard disk. It spins around really fast and on its surface, it's coated with a tiny magnetic layer which can be changed to represent ones and zeros, the data the computers use. Now that is a hard drive and that's not what we're talking about here. But to understand solid state drives and why they're so cool, you first need to understand this technology. Now here's what a solid state drive is. It's a drive, a physical component to store data on that accomplishes the same purpose as this, but has no moving parts and is much faster. And the reason for this is a solid state drive doesn't have a round disk inside it that has to spin and give you the exact spot where a piece of data is recorded. Instead, a solid state drive is composed of tiny electronic parts. None of them are moving. They're just electronic parts, each of which can hold on it millions and millions of tiny individual pieces of electronic information the ones and zeros I was referring to. And it can do so, again, without any moving parts. Now, you can go on a real deep dive on exactly how that works, how you can do that with no moving parts. But in order to just understand the impact of an SSD, it's enough to know that one, it doesn't have any moving parts, and two, the rate at which you can store information in it or retrieve information from it is much, much faster than what they solid state drive, where you have to rely on a motor turning an actual physical disc and a little arm that can read across that disc, arriving at the exact spot that, that has the data you need. You don't have to do that with an SSD, a solid state drive. You can insert and retrieve information from it liquid fast. As a result, your computer potentially can operate a lot faster. There's some other factors inside a computer that can affect the speed of it, but how quickly it can store and retrieve information from its drive is a really big one. So that's SSD or solid state drive explained.